Welcome to episode 10. Big milestone we just crossed. Isn't that right? Oh my god. And what an episode 10 it is. We have some debriefing to do. Did, how, how was your week? It was uh, relatively uneventful. Mm-hmm. Uh, did I yeah, no. miss anything? I don't know. I, I don't think anything big happened in the world of Retsu Prey okay. or whatever. I think I saw you posted a video. But... Oh, right, right. What was it? Was it um, Deep Fear? Yeah, there was the Deep Fear. Okay. Uh, probably our most controversial video to date. Mm, right. I mean, people right. really passionately hate bad voice acting and tank controls. That's what I have heard. <laughs> it's just, I was surprised to see how, how passionately. It but... lit a fire <laughs> on this here internet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then you I... uploaded some PewDiePie thing. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah I, right. I would like to start, actually, with an apology... A redaction, if you will. Mm-hmm. A correction. I post, a correction. If I post it on both Twitter and um, uh, the previous podcast that, that I said. Mm-hmm. Um, which I previously said, Toby Games, a.k.a. Tabascus, is somehow worse than PewDiePie. And what what did you base that on at the time? Um, pretty much watching one to two videos each. Okay. Now having watched about 20 PewDiePie videos in, yeah. in editing and yeah. all that together... God, I was so wrong. I was so, so wrong. And I'd like to take a moment and just give you props, you know, personally for going through all that and putting that all together, because, you. you know, I'll, I'll happily admit that video was all you're doing. Thank you. That was, I, I described it as my white whale before, which was like, I got it. We got to do something on this whole scare cam PewDiePie not thing, and then yeah, we both agreed that it was something we should address in some capacity, but we wanted to do it in a different way than what we've done in the past. And I think right, the thing we, that triggered it was that you stumbled apo- across that teens react to PewDiePie video. So what happened was simply Simon um, posted a state of let's play thread on the something awful forums, and PewDiePie came up. And someone po- someone mentioned this, this this YouTube group called the Fine Brothers or Fine Bros who posted Teens React to PewDiePie, which is a stupid little Me Too video where they show PewDiePie videos to teenagers and people react to it. And I said like, why, why don't we do a video where we react to it and just totally like, you know, <laughs> give our honest impressions and then just like bash it because it sucks, right? Kind of right. Thing. And that was like, wait a minute. So then I IM'd you about it, and you were like, that's a pretty cool idea. So I posted the thing on Twitter and Facebook uh, about it, and people sent us over 160 videos. 160, huh? Well. Yeah. Um, I really would, lo- I'm really starting to believe, based on the positive reaction we got to it, uh, which I'm surprised with that, I think this was kind of a long time coming, not from us, but maybe in general? Mm-hmm. It's sort of, I, I, maybe it's an optimistic thing, but I'm just, I'm kind of surprised at how many, um, oh my God, thank you kind of things we've gotten mm-hmm. from it, you know? Yeah, I, and I was kind of surprised too at even some of his fans came out, like PewDiePie's fans came out of the yeah. woodwork and said, uh, some were like, wow, I didn't have this perspective on the videos before. This is kind of creepy and weird and bad. So that's another thing that came out of this um, was... Now, I, I think I've watched about 20 to 25 PewDiePie videos. I'm sorry. Um, that's okay. You know what? No, and, and I'd like to use that to um, address something that the people who don't like the video have criticized us about, mm-hmm. which is that we cherry-picked moments. No fucking way. Um, yeah, it sounded ha- like you kind of easily stumbled upon the clips that you picked out. It's not like well, you were actively hunting out and you know doing an audio search for the word rape. He, well, that's the fucked up thing. He has, what, 2,400 videos about? 
let's just say, mm-hmm. 10 minutes a piece, 24,000 minutes of footage. <sighs> um, divide that by 60, um, that is about, what, 400 hours if, if I'm doing the math right? Yes, I am. I think I am. I'm about 400, an hour, 400 hours of footage. And divided by 24 hours a day, that is what? I, I worked this out before. It's like something like 15, a little over 15, like 16, 17 days worth of footage. Let's be generous and say two weeks, right? Who needs a college education? Exactly. Right, exactly. That's two solid weeks if you were to never sleep or do anything else. Which means, given a realistic schedule that I have a full-time job and I need to sleep, like, just multiply by three, fucking... I would have to watch those videos for six weeks straight to get... to cherry-pick footage. You know what I mean? So you did not conduct a comprehensive review of his videos, is what you're saying? It's not humanly possible to. Mm. It really isn't. So... Um, and the only thing I can grant you is people did send me videos, you know, just as, if, as to say, like, hey, this is what I reacted to. So just, like, going by the 20 or so I found, less than a 1% hit rate, I found that much rape footage. Mm-hmm. That's, like, I, I'm sorry, the, the laws of probability say either I'm the luckiest motherfucker alive or, no, there are some issues that need addressing here. <laughs> or what was in the content I didn't see? <laughs> and there like, was is there stuff, worse? Like, there's stuff I cut out, actually. Mm. Oh, you mentioned one thing that even creeped you out too much to include. So the thing with the rape stuff is I wanted to break it up because I really didn't want the video... To, I wanted it to ultimately be funny, and I felt like if I only focused on the rape stuff, it would almost be too much of Lao PewDiePie is really fucking creepy kind right, of things. Yeah. And, but the, so the one thing I cut short is there's a Happy Wheels video that Black Spawn... I forget if it's 21 or 420 or... Uh, the guy who pukes and actually pukes, like, on screen, or pretends to, obviously. He like, pukes out yellow shit out of his mouth. Mm. Um, he, there were, he, PewDiePie's playing Happy Wheels, and his character gets, like, a, a brown thing stuck in his stomach, and he kind of gets meshed up with the other physics model, and he's going, like, suck it, suck my black dick. Oh, right, yeah. He, that goes on, actually. And he'll voice the other character in it, and he's like, suck my black dick. No, PewDiePie, I don't want to. Yeah, you do, suck it. And it was like, huh. with all the other rape stuff I wanted to include, that was like really fucking creepy. Hmm. So I'm like, you know, I'm just going to cut that short. That seems like a good fit for the puking guy and just leave it at that, you know? You're right. Um, <laughs> that, you know, I, it, it's, it's very odd that there's so much of that. And I have my own theory behind it. I don't know if we want to get into that right now under why he's so into rape jokes. If, well, you... he is from Sweden. And if the girl with the dragon tattoo is to be believed, Sweden... Well, no. Um, no, no, no. Uh, I don't know. I, I, so... Though just I incidentally, think... I'm not saying this is linked in any way, just kind of odd that uh, actually the rape rate in Sweden, or the incidence of it, is much higher than in other countries. See, that is weird, right? Yeah. Um... I think, uh, before we touch off an international incident, I think I, think I do know, and I'm, I'm even going to de- not really defend, but I'm going to try to explain where I think PewDiePie is coming from on this. Okay. Well, and it's a really misguided thing on his part that he needs to stop. Sure. But, okay. Do um, you ever hear of Punch Up? See what? Uh, punch Up? No. Punch Up is a thing. I, I got the term from um, Patton Oswalt, although I'm not using it in the same way. Is it's where comedians watch a movie script or something, and they're paid to like make it funnier, you know, like oh, to add punch things it to up. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly right. And I have this notion that you can, if you make a joke more vulgar, you can try to punch it up. It's very cheap, and you should use it sparingly. But so, like, if you see a toilet, if you're let's playing a video game, you can just be like, "Oh, there's a toilet," and that's not a joke. But if you say like, "I bet there's shit in that toilet," you're like punching it up with vulgarity or you just make a fart noise you basically yeah yeah yeah, exactly mm. or if you want to punch it up further you could be like man this reminds me i got serious diarrhea you know what i mean like if you make it more vulgar it makes it seem a little more like a joke no it's not and it's cheap or whatever mm. and i'll admit to doing it once or twice you know you, you say like fucking instead of stupid or, or yeah. you're fucking stupid instead of stupid you know what i mean that kind of thing so do you think that's something he sort of stumbled on by accident and as he got positive reinforcement and kind of exploded he thought that was the reason, so I got to keep that up. 
I think so. I think what it is is when something vaguely sexual comes up in the video game, you can say they're having sex, or you can say, oh my god, they're totally fucking. And vaguely and sexual, latter, by the way, can apply to a lot of situations. That's the problem with him. Almost any situation, actually. Right. And then the notion of, like, saying the word rape is, like, to him, more vulgar and less uh, uh, overused than fuck. Which is kind of, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I think in his mind, this is making it funnier because it's quote unquote more vulgar, but he's not realizing the connotations that that has. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think it's like kind of this sort of extreme ignorance on his part. And then when people laugh at it, he's like, oh yeah, this rape thing's totally funny. I got to put it anywhere. Yeah. And you're totally right though, in that he does it to things that aren't even remotely sexual. So, like, like picking up video, a dead animal, for instance, or yeah, or in that video of um, uh, Nosferatu, uh, the first-person shooter game, where he's getting bitten by dogs, and it's nothing even remotely sexual. Because like, the dogs are raping me. Mm. It's like, well, they're not at all. No. And what what the fuck are you talking about, you sick freak? The correct you verb know? is bite. Right. He doesn't have a college education, though, so maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, according to him, he doesn't have his masters. His masters. That's what he said. He uh, he said he could have made more money. We'll get into this in a bit. Huh. That he could have made more money if he'd stayed in uni and gotten his masters, which means he allegedly has a college degree. I I don't I no. So the, I mean to I defend I, I I I yeah right <laughs> to to not really defend him, but like I don't think he's like a rape apologist, and I don't think right like that yeah that's that's the thing. I think you know there's a lot of legitimate arguments to make against PewDiePie, but you know keep them honest at the same time because I saw sure. a lot of people were were reacting in the wrong way, like oh my god, he's a proponent of rape, he's a misogynist I think, or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think that. And think yeah, that's that that's not really true. I mean, the guy's just an idiot. I think, yeah, I think he's ignorant. Yeah, basically. exactly. He's ignorant. He doesn't yeah. know what he's saying or the impact it might have on people. He's just trying to, you know, like you said, stretch he's, comedy as much as possible. And he's, he's trying to be vulgar. He's failing at it in a really horrible way. And then his fans are very stupidly defending it. In fact, um, I, I was maybe going to do this at the end, but I'll just offer an olive branch to PewDiePie for simple PR... You, you've got to back away from the rape thing. Mm -hmm. There is just no defending it. Like, just, hey, you know what? I didn't appreciate how it makes certain people feel and things like, you know what I mean? Just get the f get the fuck away from it. And he has a, a personal blog that he posts on, and he posted something that was pretty obvious. It didn't call us out directly, but it was pretty obviously in response to us where oh, like, yeah. it was titled Offensive Jokes. And what he basically said is, no, I don't think I know a lot of people won't get or agree with my offensive jokes, but you know, he used the old argument of if you don't if you don't like it, watch it. But it's like, what's it's not a joke. That's like, the other you have thing. to have like a target with your with a joke. It has to it's, have a purpose or some sort of directive, but just, you know, saying the word rape a hundred times is it's not even a joke. It's not at all. It's not at all a joke. It it's this it's just a, it's stupid. It's like I could say I'm having sex, 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 and make twelve year olds laugh because sex is ha ha funny mm -hmm. when you're twelve. But it's like I'm gonna make it a little more vulgar and rape, 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 yeah. rape, and then. I mean, again, the guy is just stupid. He doesn't know any better, and he doesn't know how to do any better. He has no sense of creativity beyond you know say bad words a lot and shriek really loudly. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. He he has this like one little nudge of this little spark that tells him like. You know, diarrhea is funnier than shit, and period blood's better than blood. You know, and then to him, it's uh, like I'm sorry, so if that's toilet full of period. Excuse me, that's right, toilet full of period. Uh, no, but it is that. It's totally this. Like, hey, this is so fucking funny. And the sad part is, you know, the the whole rape thing has been adopted by like shitty people who play video games. Yeah. So they think they reinforce it and say it's funny. Listen to any Xbox Live gaming session. No, it's true, right? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, uh, th this is a true story. Do you remember an arcade game called The Grid that Midway made? I do not. Uh, it, it was basically like when Doom was getting big, and it was an arcade deathmatch game. It was mm -hmm. like a third-person shooter where you're directly behind the guy and you try to shoot other people and shit, right? Sure. It's like Smash TV kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I remember when I was younger, I was at an arcade and I was playing this game, and this, uh, this guy came up to me with his girlfriend, and he put in quarters to play and fight against me, and you can name your character in it. The name of his character was Rapist. 
And his girlfriend's like right next to him. It's like, how are you cool with this? And how the fuck did you, like, what? It's like, um, like, th- that's gotta go. I'm sorry, that whole fucking thing has gotta go. Mm-hmm. It's the stupidest goddamn thing. I'm not, I'm not even like, I, I don't know, I'm not trying to do some social justice thing, but like, and I hate the term like gamer culture and shit like that, but it's mm-hmm. like, that's just gotta go. It's so fucking wrong, like stupid. I mean, it's, it's not just, like, have some common sense. I mean, a lot of people are out there saying, you know, why isn't gaming as a hobby or, you know, yes. even as you said, like, a culture taken as seriously as other things, and it's because of shit like that. Absolutely. So, uh, you mentioned PR a little while ago, and um, yes. I think that leads into... He, PewDiePie actually responded to our video twice, <laughs> or I, I commented on it twice. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, the first comment was probably... Probably the worst possible way he could have taken it. Um, I agree. Uh, he, he posted... He's actually posted three things about the video in general, but the first was mm-hmm. before it was posted. Um, and the first thing that he talked about was on his Tumblr when he found out that this was going to happen. And what he said was... Um, he, wrote a, he wrote a message, I think, to me specifically, um, which, was, which was on the order of... I hear you. I hear you guys are doing a video, um, uh, making fun of me. And hey, maybe it'll be funny. And he tries to take the high road, but then he undercuts it with like this whole like um, passive aggressive thing. Yeah, where he's like, "But there's an irony in making fun of something you hate, and I don't think you quite see it yet." Like did, this whole. I'm did he drop some it. line too about like I don't think my fans, of which there are many, will like that? Yeah, he did. He's like, "You don't want to start a fan war." Yeah. And you know, my I have a lot of fans, and you know, kind of thing. And it was this total have your cake and eat it too kind of moment, which I'll give another olive branch to him. And I'm, I'm totally being serious here. I'm not even trying to diss him. You can't do that. Mm. You got to pick one or the other. Either you're the bigger person and you're willing to laugh at yourself or you're going for the full diss. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you, you can't. You just can't. Mm. It doesn't work ever. So the video comes out and then he posts, um, and this is also why I'm, I'm really starting to hate PewDiePie fans. Um, he put, <laughs> his first comment on our video was, Something like, hey, that was actually pretty funny. Um, but, you know, if you don't like it, don't watch it. I'll actually do watch it because I get more money off ad views. La, 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 la. Mm-hmm. Lots of LOLing. Right. Which is, again, the stupid have my cake and eat it too kind yeah. of thing. And that was the thing that a lot of his fans who were cl- uh, tuned into our video responded to. And they're like, you know, I'm kind of really disappointed you said that. That's kind of a shitty thing to say. Can I just point out, though, what a, what a shit thing that is? Because it's like, hey, all the rape stuff, we, you know... They'll defend to the death, but like, hey, PewDiePie's getting ad revenue, fuck him. Like, really? That's what you have the problem with? That was the thing. A lot of people were trying to skirt the issue that was partially at the forefront of the video itself. You know, some other people were saying, well, if rape's not okay, what about all these suicide jokes you have going on here? Oh, yeah, Without yeah, yeah. ever addressing the matter at hand. Okay, yeah. There's, that's, that's, that's so wrong on so many levels. To, to start with, um, even if even if you were correct and you're not, that like you know our video made light of self harm and suicide, which it didn't, mm-hmm. mind you, um, and I'll explain why in a moment. Like it's it's not like a legal loophole where it's like, hey, uh, they did something wrong too, therefore PewDiePie's rape jokes are okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, no, two wrongs do not make a right. Basically. Second of all, um, these are not jokes about suicide. They don't make fun of people who committed or, you know what I mean? Well, that's the thing. It, again, their, their criticism is based under the assumption that the rape part is, in fact, a joke, which it is clearly not. It's basically willful ignorance mm-hmm. is what it is. I, I would call it intellectual dishonesty, but it's not very intellectual. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, know, they know. Let's not whip out our PhDs for this. <laughs> but they they know really if yeah. you think about it it's not a joke at the expense of suicide victims or people who want it. Mm-hmm. it it the the joke is a hyperbolic statement on this video is so bad and so popular mm-hmm. this world sucks like clear hyperbole there's no way you could possibly misconstrue that absolutely it absolutely it's ridiculous it is a joke it has a clear target and, and the this, rape thing is just saying the word rape a lot yeah, that's the thing it's not even a joke right we were talking about that already i was in a rant there's no kind of comedic sense behind it, which is what puzzles me. And what, you know, he calls it offensive jokes, but he doesn't, due to his lack no of education, joke. he doesn't really know what a joke is. There's no joke, exactly. He has no, but he doesn't have that comedic kind of, like, sense. And I'm not, like, a comedian. You know, I'm not great at it, but, like, 
There's no fucking joke. There's no punchline. Yeah. Stupid. Like, you you know, you can't just scream, rape, 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 rape. Oh, I'm going to rape this. I'm so happy I'm raping. Like, mm-hmm. and then, and that's like a, a funny thing. It doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. Psychedelic Eyeball fucking nailed it in his video mm-hmm. when he was just like, I think rape is a funny word. I don't know what it means. You know what I mean? Yeah. I took YouTube classes. Yeah, exactly. Like, stupid. It's not a rape joke because it involves the word rape. There has to be a joke. Mm-hmm. And Frank, it's, yeah. I mean, ugh. ridiculous. Yeah, so, long story short, the guy's really stupid. He is, actually. Yeah, no. <laughs> I like how I started this with an olive branch, and I'm like, it's so stupid. <laughs> but it's, I mean, come on. Um... Yeah, no. so I, I completely reject that stupid suicide self harm crap because absolutely, it's, the, yeah. it's two jokes in the whole video. If you were to remove them, the video still works, mind you. Mm-hmm. Whereas if you were to remove rape joke from PewDiePie, you'd have only about a thousand videos left. Mm-hmm. Um, see, that was a joke. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, explaining it for anyone who's who was a PewDiePie fan listening to this, um, of which there are none. Right, exactly. Yeah. No, I, I mean, uh, where's the name of this? It, 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 it's obviously, yeah, it's obviously, like, there's two of them, one of them is the guy putting the gun in his mouth, and it's this big fuck-off gun, and he kind of makes a funny face, it's obviously not making fun of that, mm-hmm. and then, I mean, yeah. one look at the gun, I mean, it's a comically <laughs> huge gun, I, I know, like, really, and that kind of feeds into the joke, Based, the yes. whole hyperbole thing, right, I, I just don't understand it, <laughs> It, it, it takes a weird person, I think, to look at a barrel and a bed, and then, you know, the running gag, and it's so funny, um, that mm. we hate barrels, like, I'm going to throw that in a bed and get a dead pig to rape it. That's hey, hilarious. If you push it hard enough, it'll become a meme. I suppose it will. Mm. Jesus fucking Christ. This, We're jumping- this whole incident, I'm changing subject slightly, but as far as the fallout goes... Mm-hmm. Um, I, I figured this would have um, a reaction bigger than the guy with a lot of random letters that I don't remember. SSH something or other. SSOH KPC. Yeah, yeah. I figured it would have be on that level, if a little bit more. And it was. But then also, uh, apparently Tumblr is big into PewDiePie as well. Yeah, and his Tumblr is pretty much now full of uh, people who are against him. And I learned that Tumblr tags are sacred. Yeah, they right? are sacred things that are not meant to be trifled Holy with. Holy shit! I mean, if you go on there, there's this PewDiePie tag, and you know people say stuff. You tag it, and then you know, people are commenting saying, "Don't, don't mess with the PewDiePie tag." I know. Like, what the you fuck know. are you talking about? It's like, what the fuck? It's ridiculous. <laughs> God Almighty! Um, and, and then. Um, so there. Speaking of Tumblr, somebody who runs a official slash non official PewDiePie fan Tumblr, which is different from PewDiePie's actual Tumblr, and I don't understand the purpose oh, yeah. of it whatsoever, said, "Hey, let's make a reaction video of ourselves reacting to adults reacting to," and I really want to fucking see that. Bros reacting to adults. Bros reacting, reacting, to, reacting to adults reacting to. God, etc. Fucking mighty. I really hope they pull that off. <laughs> I, I really want to see wait. that. I can't wait. I know there's probably going to be ugly shit in there, like, oh that that this girl's terrible or this guy's stupid. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. I know, but like, it's that dog's so ugly. Fucking, yeah, it's going to be so fucking bad. That animation's bad. <laughs> I know it's going to be so fucking terrible. I just know it. Like that kid's fat or whatever, but mm. it's going to be like, wow, that's it's basically going to prove our point. For like us. it'll put us in the right one hundred percent. Basically, in my yeah. opinion, yeah. God. Yeah, I know. It's funny, too, because a lot of the... I'm looking at the Tumblr right now, and a lot of them are doing this ridiculous thing of, like, just, like, ignore the haters and give each other hugs. And then someone else is like, you gotta realize that this is fucking ridiculous. You know, kind yeah. of thing. But the people saying that, they themselves are cluttering up the PewDiePie tag on Tumblr. <laughs> so they are becoming well, part of the problem, and I don't think they realize that. Well, that leads to his third thing when he, he starts to, like, get really mad about it. And he's like, uh, what was it? Um, you know, like, everyone's saying these really negative things about me. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> so, my question, what is the proper use for the PewDiePie Tumblr tag? That is 
solely to love PewDiePie with. Okay. It, it, how? Well, I mean, like, what do you mean? You can comment that? on YouTube and say stupid, like, what, what do you, what? Didn't you hear? No, no one shall make engraven images unto PewDiePie. Hmm. Is that how that goes? I forget. I don't know. I know. A lot of PewDiePie fans are breaking one of the Ten Commandments. I think so, basically. Yeah. Um, it, it, you know, it, it really goes beyond fandom to, like, just this awful level. You know, to yeah, idolatry, or if that's the it, right really, word. it really kind of is. Yeah, it's like crazy. Um, <laughs> I wanted to like get away from like serious stuff for at least a minute in this. You know what I mean? But like, it's it's in, it's insane how much like uh, it's just weird. Like they refer to themselves as bros, and anything they don't like is just barrels. And it's like, what are you inventing a new fucking language? Like, yeah. what's the matter here? Remind me where. Where does barrels come from in the PewDiePie lexicon? Apparently in one of his videos, uh, Amnesia, uh, he's hiding from one of the monsters. Right. And he knocked over a barrel, and it made a sound, and it attracted one of the monsters, therefore barrels are bad. And he oh. won't give up on that as a joke. You know, that's the thing. From watching a bunch of PewDiePie videos, I, I, I now know all his jokes, because he has like two or three, and he just repeats them. Mm -hmm. And ba barrels is a big one. Or uh, really any inanimate object... A chair will protect him, so chairs are kind of his friends, and he'll talk to chairs. And barrels are bad things, and he'll, like, yell at barrels. And it, But it really never stops. Mm -hmm. And you can go to his early videos or his later ones, he will not shut the fuck up with it. He has no material. It's all that same thing. <sighs> and, like, you know, here's the thing. Here's what he really is if you break it down. If you take out the screaming, and that's hard to do, and you take out the rape. Um, then he has zero videos, right? Well, actually, no, he's, he is a ventriloquist act on YouTube. What? He's an LP, but no, because what he does is he'll pick up an inanimate object. And this would almost work in amnesia where you could rotate an object where he'll pick up a skull or something and he'll be like, he'll name it Murray and he'll be like, or whatever. Uh. And he'll be like, Murray, should I, should I go down this hallway? And Murray will look at him and he's like, and Murray's like, no, beauty, don't do it. I don't know. I think I should. No, you didn't. Don't you tell me what to do, Murray? And throws him. It's almost like something that could maybe be funny, but he does it every fucking time. Hmm. You know? It's like, or he'll, like, he'll play a chess and there's two two dismembered arms, and he'll pick up one arm, like, open the chest, PewD! And the other one will be like, no, PewD, don't do it. No, open the chest! I don't, don't listen to either of you! And he throws it. And it's like, okay, oh. I get it. It's, you keep fucking doing this. Ah, get the fuck off. Wow, so Jeff Dunham is funnier than PewDiePie. Uh, yes. Actually. That's a bold statement. Oh. But he really, and the really, the thing is, really, he repeats all his jokes, um, and throughout the whole video series, like one of them I watched was like "Cry of Fear." I feel like I feel like I've been through some trauma, and I'm relating it to like a, a, a group therapy. <laughs> and thing. tell me how that made you feel. <laughs> so, like um, in "Cry of Fear," "Cry of Fear," there's this little girl enemy with blades on her hands and feet, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yes. And he he calls her Ruben's mom. Mm. And I don't. I watch Cry of Fear video four, so I, I do not understand where that joke comes from. Every fucking time he sees her, he screams it like it's the first time he's telling that joke. Like Ruben's mom! Oh my god, what are you going to do? You can't shoot me, Ruben's mom! And then he runs off, and then he comes back and he's like, "Hey, it's Ruben's mom again! I don't believe it!" You know that kind of shit. I know my Swedish accent is terrible, but no, that's actually spot on. <laughs> it's okay, good. Mm -hmm. You belong um, there. Oh my god. I can't believe the, the secret to Let's Play um, fame and fortune has eluded me for so long. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. This is something that was brought up in the, you mentioned the state of Let's Play thread on Something Awful. Mm -hmm. And something Simply Simon posted, um, or actually kind of another interesting tidbit veering off a little bit is, um, mm -hmm. so this German magazine, and correct me if I'm wrong, I don't have my facts straight on this, but this German magazine posted kind of a Let's Play uh, interest piece. Yeah, basically. Of sorts, and they took some quotes from you that, like, you had talked to them, like, a year ago or so? A uh, very long time ago. very long time ago. That. And basically they were just posting about, you know, here's what Let's, Let's Play is, and kind of an interesting um, piece about it, about, mm -hmm. you know, the personality, Let's Player, what's it all about, and et cetera. And then it <clears throat> devolved into this debate where uh, people were talking about, you know, is it... The, is Let's Play more about the personality, or is it more about the game? You know, most right. people saying, you know, the game is what's really the thing, but oh no, but the I want to tune into a Let's Play if I see a person I like about it a lot. I'm, I, I, I still stand by it. If you if you talk about the game, a very interesting game, the personality will follow no matter who you are. I agree, absolutely. You know, seriously. Mm -hmm. it's 
and and the more you force personality, the worse it gets. Well, I think that's the big difference between YouTube and the Let's Plays that are on something awful. And, you know, there are some exceptions, of course. But, you of know, course. YouTube, you see, you know, Mario ROM hacks or games or games everyone's played over and over again with some guy trying to act wacky to get subscribers. Uh-huh. And on something awful, you have, like, your Danganronpas, your other threads that are more about, here's this interesting game that I want to show off. And, you know, if you're mm-hmm. interesting and entertaining enough, then that will... Uh, supplement it rather than yeah. be the spotlight, which I think is important. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah. You know, I, I, the, I mean, just like going by, like I don't know, like Danganronpa. Uh, I said I'd stop, but um, the guy who did it, Oren Owner, Owner, Ronin, I would absolutely follow his next let's play, yeah. just because he knew when to step aside and things like that. Hello, Winter with Phoenix, right? Zader, uh, Zider with Finding of Isaac, um. Vicus, I, I haven't watched the Dark Souls one yet, but like the whole reason I'm interested is because I've seen other Vicus Let's or Geop yeah, really, but Vicus mm-hmm. is a Kokon. But I would follow them now because they've shown off the game and they showed off what they knew what they were doing and blah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas, and I'll give a counter argument, I'm not watching the Dark Souls thread because you know this is a game centric argument for me. I've played Dark Souls, I've beaten it, and they're doing more of a blind Let's Play, and I don't really have the patience to see someone kind of struggle through that game. So I'm like, you know, I'll pass on that. Not yeah, anything that's... against them at all. It's just, no, you know, yeah, I've yeah. done the game already, so it's not a let's play for me. But that's because Absolutely. of the game and not the people doing it. Right. And, um, I mean, the, uh, and that's where, like, PewDiePie is, like, it's all about him. It's the PewDiePie show. Yeah, I mean, he's right there, literally in every video. But if you, if, but if you really watch them, start watching them, like, it doesn't hold up. It's just, he's not... He relies on the same fucking thing, and I guess he figures it works for him. Well, I mean, yeah, it's the lowest common denominator. It works for him, so he just... That's his positive reinforcement. There's nothing that's told him, this is not good. And I and and this is like... I'm sorry. No, no, fine. This is my little bit of optimism with the whole situation, is we have gotten a lot of positive feedback from it. Yeah, I'm actually very surprised that the... I figured we'd have a lot more dislikes because, you know, it's 2 million versus whatever we have, and, you know, just simple math would dictate that the dislikes would outnumber the likes, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, absolutely. I'm looking at it right now, and it's, according to YouTube, which I know is slow, it's about roughly 12,000 likes to 1,700 dislikes. Mm -hmm. And the thing I think is, honestly, this was... And I hate to be the kind of whatever, but, like, this this is kind of a long time coming, I think. Mm Mm-hmm. I or because it's right. age restricted and the children who watch him can't see it. Right. I, I think I think though like, you know, we got like I remember when I we posted that like Total Biscuit like tweeted us like, Oh my god, that's whole and I talked to him all on Twitter. I know the game grumps guys were like, This guy totally is unwatchable schlock. Mm-hmm. I think honestly a lot of people were kinda like, This is getting kinda stupid, but he had such a big fan base mm-hmm. that nobody wanted to really say anything. And I'm not trying to do, like, a whole, like, oh, I'll say what, you know, that kind of bullshit. Yeah, we're not but trying I to think, take any kind of moral high ground with this. We're just kind of pointing out something. Right, or be that Carlos Mencia, like, hey, man, why are you getting mad at me? I'm just saying it kind of bullshit. Yeah. My, just, my whole point is just, like, maybe this really was something that was kind of brewing for a while. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Um, and I'm kind of surprised that he himself responded to it multiple times, PewDiePie. He's really bad at PR. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, do you know what it makes me? You know what really makes me happy about it, honestly, yeah. in like in kind of a jerk way, mm-hmm. is when he posted that thing on Tumblr when he said like, and there's a little bit of irony that you're not quite seeing, like he's trying to like school me or whatever, <laughs> you know? It's like you know what I've been doing this for a lot longer than you, and now that you're commenting on this, I can see exactly why you're fucking this up. <laughs> it's like it's like this stupid like Schadenfreude kind of thing, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Sure, like, sure. There you, there you go, asshole. Uh, <laughs> But, like, and and you know what? It's so easy for him to kind of fix this, is the ridiculous thing. Oh, yeah. I mean, his fan base isn't going away or the core of it. He's still got two million plus people who will, you know, drool over anything he does. But at the same time, there's still ways he can make this better and probably attract more new people. Absolutely. I'm going to, you know, and I'm going to address some of the RP fans and I'm going to disappoint some of you. I've given up a long time ago on quote unquote making Let's Play better. Or, like, getting rid of people. You know what I mean? That's, a, that's that a thing that a lot of people are, you know, they claim that Retsu Prey's mission is to make Let's Play better. And that's, I don't, I don't think that's possible. really true. It's not, well, even if it were, it's not possible. Yeah. Um, 
The the truth of the matter is, I mean, guys, it's too easy. I'm sorry, uh, it's too easy to do. Let's you know, let's play on YouTube. Throw something up there. Do whatever you want. You know, it's obviously worked for some people, so why not try it yourself? There's, you know, we're not any kind of force that's providing negative reinforcement for that. But we're just you know, pointing out things that are bad or funny in a bad way and just kind of laughing at it. Screaming about rape, too, is like a 1,000 subscriber multiplier. Exactly. Like a video game in and on its own, really. There's a certain formula you can follow where you can be mildly <laughs> successful, if maybe not profitable, but, you know, popular. You know, if you have your own place where you're allowed to scream... And you have some good capture equipment, all you really need. I have no content and I must scream is PewDiePie's slogan. <laughs> it's true though, it really is. Mm-hmm. It's like, so, yeah, but uh, to, to get back to my way, I really do think this was, um, this, was a, uh, this was something that was brewing for a while. Mm-hmm. But no matter what we do, there's nothing we can say that'll like just get him, that'll get him better. Right. Or make him take it. You know, really? Yeah, we're like, under no illusion that he's going to improve himself or stop spouting rape every five minutes. I mean, if that's silly. If he's really pulling the kind of cash that people say he is, it's stupid for him to yeah. stop. And one commenter said that he only makes about 500000 to a million dollars per year <laughs> commentating on videos. Only. Can I just say that you can? what's indicative of this fan base is that people say, like, you know what? He you know, he works just as hard as a normal person. Like, you know, if you're to work that hard for a year, you'd make 500,000 bucks a year and it's like, I'm sorry. It's what? easy. It's easy. Yeah, it's easy. Mitt Romney 2012. Come on, guys. And I don't I by the way, I don't really yeah. believe he clears half a mil a year. I just don't. You don't think he does? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, but I I don't. Hmm. I can't. I you know, it, either way though, the point is that it's like there is this dissonance between like the, the, you know, he's not going to stop. It's too profitable for him. Oh, absolutely, it, yeah. Even he's not going to be like, oh, you, I saw the air of my ways. I'm going to go get my degree now. I mean, that's not going to happen. Absolutely. You know, and whatever. And whatever. I mean, yeah. And and I, you know, when we, like, make fun of, like, smaller LPers and shit, because I remember one guy was like, I got that guy to take his videos down. I'm like, I, you know, I don't care. I don't want that. Yeah, we're not on a mission to purify YouTube. That's impossible. No, it, it really is, you know? It's free. Anybody can sign up. Anybody can post anything they want. There's not. There's no quality control. There's no moderation. Absolutely. And we're not going to change that. Absolutely. We, you just can't. You can't do it. It's not possible. You know, if if I if now I will say if if PewDiePie comes and is like, you know what, the rape shit's fucked up. I'm going to stop with that. And that's it. And that's all he did. Because I know the other stuff he won't get. He won't ever give up on the shrieking, hey, you know etc. Yeah. Yeah. Small victories. But it doesn't matter. Someone else will come up, come up and do the same thing. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, so that's that's uh, the very cheery part of the podcast. Woo! Give you a lot of hope. Despair, motherfuckers. Um, you can't change anything. Basically, people are stupid. It's it's kind of true though. Enjoy your life. Yeah. No. Um, let's talk about some positive things. Let's talk about the people who did appear in the video. Yeah, we got some surprisingly, you know, you know, not surprisingly, but we got some really funny submissions. I, um, we let off the video with, uh, uh, Rick and Saul, who is a, uh, uh, who was like, you know, he's a guy who puts on the headphones, well, I'm sure it can't be that bad. All right, it is. Mm-hmm. Which I saw, I'm like, that's got to lead it off, you know? Right. And if I remember, oh, should I have the video right in front of me? He, I opened that with the Nosferatu video where, again, PewDiePie screws about rape for no good reason because there's a girl being attacked by a demon. Mm-hmm. And, and nothing remotely sexual is going on. Thanks for that. Right. And then uh, next we have Gazelle. Um, who said we could credit her real name, but also gave an alias, so I went with the alias. Mm-hmm. Um, she was the Pills girl. That's the Pills girl. Um, and <laughs> which was a perfect notion, moment in PewDiePie's like special 30 minute amnesia mod video <laughs> where he just yells at the top of his lungs at fucking nothing. That's it. That's the whole thing. And it keeps going. Can I, can I take a side note, by the way? Please. Um, do you, you want proof, by the way, that this, like that screaming and I'm so scared thing is fake? Like proof? Sure. Um, Go watch his Slender Mansion video. Finally finished Slender Mansion, okay? Mm-hmm. This is the, it's the one I put Mecha Prime over. Um, nine minutes into it, he sees Slender Man peeking out from the corner, and he is not scared at all. He, like, makes jokes about it. He's looking at him like... And at one point, Slender Man teleported. Like, Why are you teleporting back? Why are you teleporting backwards? It's ridiculous. Ah, you know, he is not scared at all. 
At the 11 minute mark, same video, nothing happens, he starts screaming. For a full minute straight, no fucking reason. Are you saying he only does what's easy for his commentary? Yes, he knows that people like the screaming. Mm -hmm. He has no reason to do it. He's not scared in the Slender Mansion video. Full fucking minute. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. He never gets any... I don't think it's possible for him to get any negative criticism that he sees. That's what pisses me off, too. Wait, 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 that's right. YouTube in general, though, so... But that's what pisses me off, too, about his fan base, because I know some of them on Tumblr are like, why don't you give constructive criticism? And the reason is because if I had written a Tumblr thing that said... Your screaming is really overdone. You gotta knock it off. And the rape shit's really fucking creepy and disturbing. You gotta knock it off. I would have gotten a million people like, don't listen in that fucking barrel. You are the funniest motherfucker alive. Don't stop doing what you're doing. If I might offer my rebuttal, barrels. I know, but that's what it is, you know? Right. It's, it gets drowned out amongst the positivity. So you think, oh, that's an outlier. It doesn't matter. It's really one of those things you do have to fight with humor. You have to mock it and show it how ridiculous it is. Yeah. It's the only fucking way. They won't listen to reason. Mm, absolutely. Um, I'm sorry, anyway. So yeah, she was the one with the pills, and I completely reject that as one of the suicide videos, because I, the way I read that joke, too, is like, it's sort of an aspirin Xanax. Like, I'm gonna need something to go through this video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I'm shit. getting a hell of a headache. I need a lot of medication then, to calm this down. Yeah, like, I'm not gonna make it through this. <laughs> yeah. Next one's me. Um, <laughs> nothing to say about that, basically. It was terrible. That was the worst part, actually. That was the worst one. Was absolutely. Yeah, like, terrible. Just hubris that I put myself so... so Move right. on. Move on. Um, and then the next one is... I like this one a lot. This one was... Acetaldehyde? Acetaldehyde? Gesundheit. Thank you. Here's the bearded guy who's kind of squinting and then shakes his head. Mm-hmm. That was the Happy Wheels video where he's like, That will teach you not to have a pussy eating... I don't know what the Those were my favorite reactions were the more subtle ones like that, where it's just like, you're just the complete opposite of how you would normally act with a guffawing laughter, just like, no. Yeah, that, that's just sort of sad, like, man. That's yeah, it's so very sad. understated, and it's it's effective. It's That is how you, totally, normal people would react, I would expect. And it totally works. And and, are, and that's the thing. It's, it's the direct opposite of PewDiePie's total, like, mm. kind of thing, you know? It's totally like a... a, a yeah, exactly. It's subtle. It's understated. Mm -hmm. um, then next up we had A. K a Kilburn, who was watching PewDiePie play a Gary's Mod video holding a battery, and he's like, barrels! And he's like staring mouth open, and then he's like, okay, that's it. That's all I could do. <laughs> Which I just, I loved. It was really just excellent. Mm -hmm. um, then after that we had Bitter113, uh, one of our, one mm -hmm. of our, early fans, friends of the show, um, I believe is stationed in Afghanistan and actually sent me his patch from his unit. Oh, no uh, kidding. No kidding. Really cool guy. Mm -hmm. um, and he's the one who's like, hi, do you need a convention? You know. Oh, right. I broke up I broke up his video into two parts um, just because like, I, I felt like, I don't know, it just kind of the punch was a little better in his second part. Yeah, length considerations. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So... That's him. That was good. And I put him under. I put it under PewDiePie's top ten videos where he's really afraid of a little dog chasing him, which is like, why is that scary? <laughs> it's not it's fake. Yeah. Um, and thank you for your service. And thank you for your service. And then we had my maybe my favorite person in the whole video was Red Mercer, who is <laughs> that guy's awesome. awesome. That was awesome. He submitted a two-minute video. He's the suspender guy with the big headphones and the bong. Many people mistook him for Davo. He is not Devo. Red Mercer. He is not Devo. Red Mercer is a goon, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, and I saw him post in uh, Post Your Favorite or whatever. He has a hell of a rap sheet. Probably from <laughs> posting while high. <laughs> Don't post while stoned, Red Mercer. But it was a two minute video, and when I first watched it, I just figured it was like, ah, um, oh, it's funny, but you know. Yeah, you didn't read the instructions. Right, you know, whatever. Right. And then, like, I skipped ahead and I saw him with the bong, and I'm like, all right, wait a minute. And then, <laughs> two minutes, mind you, and in the end, he's like, fuck, what's the point of that? He's, you know, he really and, submitted the perfect running gag for his videos. It really was. That one, I'm like, I have to make this into a running gag, yeah. because that was too funny. Um, uh, what do you call it? What else is there? Um, then there is, um, should I look up, I have his name right here. It's uh, Dej. Dej is the guy who kind of, like, Puts his hand to a face and he's like, um, are his friends, are his fans 12? 
and then like 30,000 likes, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, and then, uh, he's, uh, so he was originally actually over a slender video that he told me. The only problem is I, I couldn't figure out where in the video he was. So I, I just took that opportunity to throw in like another, like one of my like, oh my god, I don't believe PewDiePie threw rape in this one too kind of videos, you know? Are you saying that has, a lot of his videos are samey? <laughs> I don't know why I'd say that, being that there's like, you know, the same joke in every one. I find that hard to believe. I know. Um, what do you call it? Uh, and then after, after Dej, who did we have here? Then we had Bitter thir Bitter One Thirteen again, and then oh, then you, me. <laughs> I know, right? Oh my god, the the very last submission. All right. I was itching to post this video, though. I was, I I was just mm. dying to. It was just fine. Yeah, and at the same time, I was trying to think of ideas. Yeah. Because I had some things like you know, do I want to like post like hang myself somehow or like pound on my door, try to escape? But I thought those all seemed like a little too over the top. Mm -hmm. And then the, well, you had the idea of like, hey, here are some, these are his actual titles for his videos. <laughs> I wanted to give you some shit for it. Yeah. <laughs> be like, uh, I mean, in this podcast, and be like, where'd you get that idea? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no I'll was, give you the credit all the way. No, 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 I am not, I'm not really saying it for that. Yeah. Um, but this was a little nerdy of me, um, because I noticed the one video was toilet full of period. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm like, what the fuck are his videos? But YouTube doesn't give you a great way to see all the videos. Unless you're a web developer, in which case they give you their API. So that that's like, I got this list of 500 of his videos, and I just started skimming through them, and I'm like, wow, these are, these are awful. Like 100% like, of them are in all caps pretty much, right? Pretty much, except then like there's just, at, which you point out at the end, is like Siren Blood Curse Walkthrough Part 2. Yeah. Like, you couldn't think that of was the that, that was literally the one outlier. <laughs> I know. Like, Surrounded by the fuck? sea of things in all caps about uh, about tentacles with nipple vaginas face. and <laughs> toilet face, periods and so face. on. By the way, that video, um, WTF, the vagina has arms, that is like a second in the whole fucking video. Where there's, he looks down a subway tunnel and there's like an organic kind of thing growing. And he doesn't even say, he's like, what is that, a vagina? And then he just moves on. <laughs> But apparently that one fucking line, he had to title the whole fucking video, what the fuck that vagina has on. That's the draw of the video. <laughs> Cut and print. I am PewDiePie. Woo. Signs his name on a contract. Not getting an education really paid off. <laughs> yeah. And I, I ended up putting him, putting you on Scariest Game Ever, his stupid Juwan thing mm -hmm. with his screams. Yeah, I, I, I did <laughs> not, not watch any of his videos. <laughs> no. Uh, who's next? Um, next one is Red Redactol, um, who, uh, did the whole, like, acting scare and then kind of covering his eyes and waving away from the camera kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And that's, and that's the video that I saw where I'm like, wow, this motherfucker is really creepy with rape. Because that's the one where he's got the pig, and oh, he's like, right. I'm gonna rape, I'm gonna rape, and he starts singing And he it. just went on and on with it. Here's the whole context of that video, because I cut segments, is um, th later on in the video, uh, and I'll credit him in a minute, you know the kid who's like, Shh, like use your normal voice. Yeah. He opens a desk, and the per this is an amnesia mod, and the when he opens it, a, a suit of armor springs up behind him for like a jump scare, mm. and he's like, what the fuck, ah, or whatever, he's, and he does this, st this stupid like, bat, bat, bat kind of nonsense noise. Then he opens a cabinet, there's a barrel there, and there's the bed nearby. And that's where he's like, you're going to get raped, barrel. Oh, I'm sorry, and I'm forgetting, before that, when he encounters the pig, he's like, we're going to rape someone later. Like, he, it's almost like he knows somehow. <laughs> and then that's when he decides to backtrack through the level, get the pig corpse, sing about rape, and then throw it on the barrel, and he's raping the barrel. Mm. It's, it's like this whole video. That's the one where I'm like, I got to... I gotta listen for these, like, rape things, because he's really into it. And stunningly, I did not have to look very hard at all. Mm -hmm. It's really just... It, it really is disturbing. I am not a prude, but that is just fucked up. You don't have you to know? be a prude to find that weird. I know that. And creepy. I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying that there's some people I know who are gonna listen to this who are like, they're like, that's not so weird, rape joke, blah, 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 you know, stupid shit like that. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I, I just, for that, it's like, I'm sorry, if you watch that video in context... We showed parts of it, but it is fucked up. And it's a I running know. thing, too, right? 
It's yeah. not just an isolated incident. No, absolutely not. And he, he, I put, I put different parts of it in the video, you know. Right. Because it's it's really fucked up. Um, uh, unfortunately, I asked for his credit, and either he didn't get, back, yeah, I don't think he got back to me. But um, the next kid is, um, it's sad now. I can do PewDiePie's whole lines from this, but like he's just kind of watching it, and he goes, "I'm done." Uh, but it's like he's picks up like a he picks up Stefano, which is a stupid statue thing. That's another running gag of his that he never lets go. Um, and and uh, he's like, "Ah, oh, fucking poofer, Jesus Christ, nah, nah, nah." And the kid's like, "I'm done," and just leaves. Good, um, succinct, and to the point. Absolutely, basically. And then, uh, oh, and then, of course, he picks up the statue and goes, it's my swimming penis. Because, you know, everything's pee-pee and vaginas. Mm-hmm. And Everything is sex, yeah. Yeah, and then after that is Dieter with um, the billion line pennants in the background, which I thought was a nice touch. I did not before. see those until I think someone pointed those out after the fact. And then I looked and back it, and I was like, oh my god, yeah. And because PewDiePie is a quality LP or in that section, you can barely mm-hmm. fucking see what's going on because it's so goddamn dark. Mm-hmm. And I think his commentary during that scene is actually like, um yum, um yum, um yum. Basically, PewDiePie's commentary is waving keys in front of a camera, like you're a baby. <laughs> you know. Um, I, I feel disgusted just listening to you regurgitate his lines. It's it's so it really is disheartening. I made a I made it's not even a joke about on Facebook where I'm like I've really gone from no joke grimacing on the bus watching this. I really was too. Mm. On my commute to work, I'd be watching it for material, and I would just like had this like pained look on my face, like, <laughs> I, I and I'd see the audio graph just turn into like a rectangle where he's just <laughs> screaming. I'm not even kidding. It went from like a wave to just. It's solid. like someone used the blue fill tool on your audacity thing. <laughs> yeah, basically, exactly. And then I'd be like, oh, I know, I'm going to have to turn on the volume from this. And then I'm, like, worried people on the bus can hear it through my earphone, earbuds. You know, or like, even worse, brave, there were brave, PewDiePie brave. fans on the bus. Oh, God. Or they think I am. Oh. I, I don't know what's worse than that. Um, you don't want that. No one wants that. Right. Next one's Jonathan Saul. Um, and I, I have to give a little prop. I have to give some props. I shouldn't say a little. I, I have to give props to First Aid Kite. Who pointed out? Although I, um, uh, his, his basically worst rape video is the Ao Oni game, which is an RP, a horror game made in RPG Maker, where these purple monsters are like chasing you through a house or something. And obviously, they're trying to rape you. Yeah. Because that, yeah, that's that's basically where they're killing people, and he's like, "Well, I got to turn that into rape." It's it's the joke's obviously there. Even yeah, that's the first like, conclusion any reasonable person would go to. <laughs> I know. Like, what the fuck is wrong with him? Yeah. Um, Jonathan, Jonathan was, um, the guy who's like, uh, I'm embarrassed we're from the same country. Basically. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, like, bend over, bitch. Yeah, I remember that. Um, and that leads us to Dexo one uh, who is the rifle guy. Mm-hmm. Reason number two, we were age-restricted on that video. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Which I, now, I'll, I'll, I, I will be frank, we, we got a, we got a few gun-in-the-mouth type of, um, videos, mm-hmm. submissions. But I think I think Dex's kind of works because it's such a big joke, comical fuck off gun. Yeah, exactly. Like it's an obvious joke to go to, but when you're able to take it to a, little, a bit of a level beyond the idea of it, yeah, like basically. he did, it, it works pretty well. And the way he like he looks when he puts his mouth on it, where yeah, it's like, like obviously here I go, right. Yeah. And a reminder again: this the joke is this is so horrible. Exactly. Yeah. You know, it's not like he's just screaming rape for no reason. Yeah, and it's it, it even it's not like telling PewDiePie to kill himself or his fans to kill himself. Absolutely. No, he's saying this video is so bad that I don't want to see it anymore. Oh, I so want to credit this this kid. Oh God, I, I have him down as unknown. If he if he was, I'll, I'll I can credit him next time. The kid who's like watching PewDiePie sing like "Never Gonna Give You Up" and then he like pretends to puke. This is one of our first submissions, and it was I, I just I just love the way it worked, like the way he looked at the camera and everything. Mm-hmm. Fucking perfect. Um, he like just does this perfect wretch kind of thing or whatever. Yeah. After that is at Vilbino, who is just she has the thick black glasses, and she's just sort of staring and blinking. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, I I apologize that you had to go through a PewDiePie video for this. Absolutely. But, um, that's, that's the one where he's playing Happy Wheels, and all he's doing is like, hocha pocha, hocha pocha. Which, again, is not a joke. I mean, it's a It's not anything. 
It's a step up from screaming rape for no reason, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I have to give it credit. Um, but yeah, and she's just like staring at that. Mm-hmm. Hocha pocha. So good one, PewDiePie. Um, after that... Uh, ah, shit. I don't have him credited correctly. After that's the kid with the long hair. I gotta, I gotta find that one. The one who's just kind of like looking like, what the fuck? And he's got the long curly hair. Oh yeah, just staring. Yeah, he's yeah, watching. Yeah. yeah, and then he's watching. Then um, I know you posted on our Facebook, and then diabetes is you know, you're watching Ib or no, you're watching Juan again. After that, I did not watch any PewDiePie video. <laughs> you're just reading the titles and stuff. No. Right. Like yeah, I'll and, do this thing and then call it a day. Right. Then there is Curse Takari. With and I thought the nostalgia critic was bad, mm-hmm. and actually PewDiePie in this video and the one with Red Mercer is playing an amnesia mod that was built specifically for him. What? So I think, and I didn't watch the original joke, but from what I've intuited, um, PewDiePie when he gets laudanum in amnesia, I guess can't say it right and says like laudanum or something like that, and then makes a joke out of it. So the person who made that mod made the item lad na 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 So PewDiePie picks it up, and of course, like, and every time he gets it, he's like lad na 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 na. Because again, if you don't have rape as a joke, you just have to go to baby talk. <laughs> you um, stretch that non-education thing as far as it can go. <laughs> I think George Carlin once said, "If you don't have rape, go to gibberish." Yeah. Basically. Well, I'm an Mer- idiot. Let's show it off. <laughs> then we have Red Red Mercer toking up. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> it really is though. It just kind of <laughs> works. I don't know why. Uh, and then um... come to Pax East, Red Mercer. <laughs> is this Neferis? Uh I think yeah. I believe this is Neferis, who is like kind of looking disgusted, and then Zether, who just kind of winces. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'll give you a little, give you a little uh, thing there. And then, of course, there's, please remind me why I'm... Oh, wait, that, maybe that's Ether. Please remind me why I'm watching this... Jer- uh, what Shrieking is Idiot, I think? Thank you, yes. Shrieking Idiot on YouTube or whatever. Yeah. Uh, then I think J.K. J.H. Seekings is the one who's like, shut the fuck up. He was one of my favorites, because he was really direct and to the point. Basically, yeah. And then, uh... Yeah, and then we have the continuation of, um... Of the, uh, the the kid is like um, uh, 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 not you, before he's like speak in your normal voice. <laughs> That's right. His original video was speak in your normal voice or shut the fuck up. And I split that up into speak in your voice and then shut the fuck up. <laughs> I wanted the joke to kind of be like that's what he wanted at first, but then maybe after he got it, he's like, no, just shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, yeah. Now we have Red Mercer blowing out. <laughs> God Almighty. Mm-hmm. I love that kid. It's a storyline with our video. It's good. <laughs> there are many plot threads woven throughout. Absolutely. Then, of course, the dog. Mm-hmm. That was me, <laughs> by the way. I just want to, for any ASPCA people out there, we did not actually subject a dog to no, a no. PewDiePie video. Found, you, what, search for dog barking on YouTube? Mm-hmm. Tori Hallbrook then with, um, uh, uh, you know, what? <laughs> <laughs> And then Johnny Johnny Weiss is the guy who cries when PewDiePie is being <laughs> um, raped by Silent Hill creatures. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Surprised he pulled out the rape joke there. Oh no, I'm not. Hmm. Here's you again. Yeah, pass. Mm. Pass. Everyone agreed you're the hot guy of Retsu Prey, huh? Let Let's not talk about that. You're banned. Um, who's next? Uh, shut the fuck up, and then. Oh, uh, um, this this person actually did want to, uh, did not want to be credited, actually. The person who takes off his glasses and kind of puts his head in his hands. Yeah, specifically not today. Mm-hmm. Right. And his name is, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, his name is Matthew Hallbrook. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just made that up. Okay. Uh, whoops. Lost track of the video there. Where were we? Um... Did I get to the cartoon yet? No? No. The cartoon was done by Coleco Adam. Very well done. Mm-hmm. Fortunately, I, sh- I shifted things around, which sucks. So, um... You know the kid... Uh, I, you know who I like, too? Was, um... He just told himself to shut up 
I wish you would actually do that. That CPU basic 13. I, I like that a lot. I like I that guy like a lot, yeah. The, the deadpan of it was mm -hmm. just really exactly. well done. That was my favorite stuff was the deadpan low-key stuff. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I liked all of it, but yeah, mm -hmm. that was that was pretty great. Yeah. Um, I'm playing Kid Cole and Kant's video right now just because I'm trying to remember who he is in the whole grand scheme of things. Um, what is there? Mar Markaged? Wait, is that Markaged? I believe it is. I, I believe he is the one who... Um... Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? Let me get to Lumi, first of all. Lumi is the one with the skull shirt who's just staring while PewDiePie is screaming, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I just really like that. And I made that the video thumbnail. It defaulted on her, Curse Takari, the girl who is like, uh, I thought the Nostalgia Critic was bad with her head in her hands, but right. Lumi's kind of just look of disgust, <laughs> as one, it was one of YouTube's selected, like, can you want to use this as a thumbnail kind of thing, was just too fucking perfect. Kind of sums the whole thing up, yeah. Basically, yeah. Uh, shit, what did, what did Kid Colin Camp do? Fuck. Um, just, I'm trying to load it up, but... Oh, I got, he was the one who drank the crock and rum. Mm. Oh, the, the, he drank the, the liquor. Part of who made us age-restricted. You fucker. You can't drink alcohol on the internet. I know. Scream, scream rape, sure. And make yeah, money that's off fine, that. but don't drink booze or smoke bongs or other if illegal I, activity. If I remember, and I swear we'll correct this in, a, in the next one or something, Mark Hodge is the one who was like kind of just looking. He had the big goatee and the glasses, and he was just kind of looking disdainfully while PewDiePie's like, in my controller. Under the controller, in my butt, or some stupid shit. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, yeah, Lumi I had forgotten to credit originally, but it was very funny. Uh, I already talked about Puke Guy. Who am I forgetting? Oh, um, sorry, it's hard to like, keep track of all there this There are shit. two goons who were at the end of the video. There are. I believe CJ Giannakos, he was in there. He was in there toward the end, too. He's the one I didn't mention. But yeah, and then... Um, <laughs> Um, Matroixer. Uh, Oddly Matro enough, an old L R R P target of ours. Yeah, that's right. He actually. was the uh, guy who did the that. Thanksgiving video, I believe. That's right, that's right. But he... No, yeah, and, and, uh, totally, totally fine, you know? <laughs> um, uh, 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 yeah, what am I trying to say here? Oh, he was the one who's like... Yeah, he pointed out something that was very, uh, very succinct and relevant to the whole thing. <laughs> He has a great deadpan, and if you watch his Rub the Rabbits, or, or I can't remember it, um, Feel the Magic is the first game, and then those DS games. He's LPing them on the SA forums, mm -hmm. and he was like, peop no, he is like, people, somebody watched these videos and said, yeah, I'm going to dig that. <laughs> He's referring, by the way, to Cutie Pie, which is PewDiePie's girlfriend. Yeah, who apparently does some stuff with him on his, uh, for his LPs, if, yeah. Yes. Anyway, um, I'm, we're not, I'm not going to make fun of the guy's girlfriend. No, no. Uh, no. And then there's um, Mecha Prime, mm -hmm. who um, did, who I was like, once I saw that, I'm like, if I didn't have my specific way of ending the video down, I would totally have ended it with that, with the like, <laughs> oh, it's a gimmick. <laughs> that was just perfect. Fucking beautiful. That was great. One of my, that was probably one of my top, like, two, three. Matroixer was big. With, I really liked Matroixer's deadpan of that, mm -hmm. of his line. That was perfect delivery. I liked, I liked so many of these things, and there were so many I couldn't include. Um, like, Mushman had a good suicide one, but I just felt like um, Dex kind of beat him with the big gun, and I didn't want to do like mm. more than one of those. You know? Yeah, you don't want to stretch that too much. I mean, it's, kind, exactly, of, it's exactly. kind of an easy joke to do, but you have to kind of do it in the right way to, you know. Absolutely. No. Um, but yeah, like, Mecha Prime, was, that was just awesome. <laughs> Um, yeah. And then, yeah, and then, uh, so, I was originally gonna just end it with, with the, um, this can't hit bottom, and then it's raping time. Mm. Uh, and, but then I was like, I should end Diabetes' running gag thing or whatever. Who? Um, that said, by the way, the it's raping time thing also goes on for a while, where he's, like, pretending, like, licks his tongue at the camera and superimposes it. That goes on longer than it's in the, our video? Let me, let me go a little farther. Not only does it go on a lot longer than it does in our video, um, someone made, kind of like the Mike Dawson mixing the ring, missing the ring toss thing, a loop of it where it goes on for an hour. Oh, really? And remixed it into a music video. What? Yes. Oh, man. Yeah, so that is everything that is wrong with video game or culture, whatever. In a nutshell. 
in a nutshell. Um, we're a little past an hour. Uh, mm -hmm. So I, a lot of his fans tried to get our video taken down by flagging it, and that just led it to being restricted for only certain ages of audience. Exactly, this is why I made the rated E for everyone version. Right, so you covered up a few things. Yeah, and I had to take out Red Mercer, which or from one of his videos, which sucked. But yeah, okay, sera sera. Mm hmm. So it goes. So it goes. Um, yeah. Did we learn anything from all this? That PewDiePie is really bad at fucking. Besides, let's play just PR. Mm hmm. Uh. No, yeah, my. I'll get. You know what? I'll get. I'm again. I'll give him an olive branch. Back off the rape shit. Mm -hmm. Publicly do that. And I know some of your fans will give you shit for doing that. You know? If you just, like, kind of, like, make a little apology and be like, you know what, I didn't really think through what I was saying there. I'm going to knock it off in future videos. Some people will back off of you. You don't want them. You don't want them as subscribers. No, they're it's bad like, it's, people. It's like blood money. And it'll teach them a lesson, too. And you know? you're a bad person for reinforcing their way of thinking. Absolutely, yeah. Like, it's not supposed to be a thing where you beat someone in a video game. That's not yeah. the way to use the time. I, I, feel, I feel so horrible that I'm saying these things that I feel like are so obvious, but mm -hmm. I hate the world, basically, is what... Well, I mean, this guy's is. lived in the world of YouTube only for a while now, hasn't he? Basically, yeah. I mean, that's a horrible social structure to develop in. Mm -hmm. You don't learn good things about the world or... What constitutes things that are not good to say? Yeah, absolutely. I know. I know he won't follow my advice, but you gotta <laughs> calm down on the screaming. It's just, it's old. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work. There and are ways I mean, to be funny, and you can challenge yourself a little bit to try new things. Branch that's out. Really, that's really the thing, right? Yeah. Because like. You know what? We get. I know everyone loves the Ridley voice and shit. I'm not trying to do like, oh, we're so much better, but like, I know everyone loves sure. the Ridley voice, but I know like you and I do feel weird about it because mm -hmm. it's like, you know, we just do it a lot and it's like, you don't want to kill it. Right. You know, that kind of thing. But I mean, and stop repeating your fucking jokes. Like, I, it's like he finds one and then he just latches onto it for the rest of the fucking mm -hmm. video. Well, it's a crutch. It is. I just Bro, think he doesn't have a lot to say about the games he's playing, so he just relies on what's been tried and true. That's why I know he won't take a lot of this advice, and a lot of people say it's not fair, although the rape thing, you should absolutely take the advice if you're listening to yeah, this. Yeah, that's, not. yeah. Just do that, please. It'll go so fucking long. Have some I'll common sense. Line. Decency, even. Yeah. But, yeah. It, and for the record, if you're, like... Either either you 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 go you kind of laugh at yourself or you diss the other guy, but you can't have it both ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry. Take a side, know. right? Basically, Just, <laughs> I don't know. Right. Well, so it was a, a fun exercise. We learned a lot. Yes. Again, apologies to Toby Games, and I know I know you don't like me or either, but whatever. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. um, damn. 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 No. Uh, no, but he, he is somehow better than PewDiePie, but mm -hmm. that is not saying anything. Mm -hmm. That's not saying a whole lot. Who knows? Maybe... Congratulations, maybe... you don't talk about rape every few minutes. <laughs> Basically, right? <laughs> it's like, wow, that alone catapults you somehow. And, and by the way, um, uh, PewDiePie was rated King of the Web once. Oh yeah, what's, what's that again? You win like a couple thousand bucks. Yeah. It's a contest yeah. that people vote on? Yes. All right. Yes. I think the King of the Web people contacted us about participating they, in it, too, didn't they? They did, they did. Yes, they did. And it's like, mm, no. <laughs> Not now. No, no thanks. <laughs> Not now. Basically. All right. That was great. <laughs> it was a good time. Good time for all. Good time. Yeah, absolutely. So look forward to Deep Fear Part 2. Remember that? <laughs> yes, basically. I don't know. You know what? Uh, I mean, this thing is going to blow over and, like two days basically oh yeah yeah i think it's already calmed down a little bit i'm sure you know what like he's gonna move on and we'll move on and that's life mm -hmm. i'm just glad he we won't have a... learned anything but you know yeah. that's to be expected but we got a funny video out of it and um i you know i, I you gave me the credit before and this was a shitty of me i should have like thanked everyone who submitted things because this was pretty much you know mm -hmm. all all them you know like i edited it together but 
whatever. You know, everyone fucking produced con- great content and stuff. And mm-hmm. I, I, I wish my credits... I used to have a very detailed credits list that said who did what. But then I removed it to give people credit on the YouTube description there. Mm-hmm. And then I kind of lost track of, wait, was this person the person who did that? You know what I mean? So... Mm-hmm. So yeah, let me know. We'll we'll I'll totally call you out in the next podcast or whatever. Mm-hmm. So yeah, PewDiePie. We did it. <laughs> we did. You they asked for it. They're now you've got it. Force us into it. No. And really. now it, don't you feel bad because you didn't expect that much rape to be involved? Well, how many how many times do you think we've said the word rape in this podcast? Uh, someone will keep count. Oh god. For us, and then we'll feel really uncomfortable about it. Yeah, and Chef Lupin and will never give us an intro again. Mm. All right. All right. <sighs> so there's that. So there's that. Cool. Cool.